All right, guys, I'm out mowing one of my properties. Andrew, that watches my video, stopped to say hi. So let's all say hi to Andrew. So I thought it was pretty cool. He, uh, I was back in the office park mowing, and he stopped by and just wanted to say hi and see how everything was going. So I thought that was pretty cool. Thanks for stopping by, Andrew. Well, thank you. It's working now. I think I broke my camera. The uh, record button's all pushed in. And I kind of pulled it out with uh, some needle nose. And now it's working a little bit. We'll see if it keeps working. <laughs> You're lucky. Yeah, might have to go get a new camera. I don't know. Either that or might just have to just stop making vlogs for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Matt didn't show up again today. I still haven't heard from him, so uh, needless, needless to say, uh, we're gonna move on. Uh, Alberto might have a friend that wants to work, so we might, uh, you guys might be seeing a new guy here pretty soon. So, that's kind of where we're at. Still doing pretty good. You doing good? Yeah. Yeah? Alberto's always doing good. I shouldn't even ask him. I really shouldn't. <laughs> He's just like, uh, Kind of like a machine, like a Terminator. He just shows up, cuts grass, goes home. Play video games. Play video games. <laughs> so, but yeah. And also my LGs quit working on me again. Second pair this year. So I went and got a cheap pair of these, little headphones. Uh, the sound's good, but they are killing my ears, man. <laughs> killing them. It's like my ears getting stretched out like, whew. My ear, I can't even, I can't even have them in my ear more than like 20 minutes because it's just, it's aching really bad. <laughs> so I might have to invest in a good, good pair of headphones. I don't know what's up with the LGs. They just, you know, the first pair I had, they, they lasted for a while, and then uh, they kind of stopped working. So I took them back, got a new pair. Uh, they gave me a new pair for free because I was still under warranty, but. Uh, now the volume on the, the new pair doesn't work very well, so I can't really hear the music anyway, so I can't even hear to really talk on the phone. Everything's really, really quiet, so uh, we'll probably go away from those for a while and maybe try something else. I really want to get me a pair of Beats, man. Yeah, that's a good hit. I need some Beats, some Dre Beats, some big old... Actually, I was thinking yesterday that those would actually serve another purpose, too, because I'm having top of my ears are really getting sunburned oh, yeah, and then it cover my ear yeah then it'd be like funny though i have this big old white ring right here and my face would be all dark but except for right here <laughs> that would be funny wouldn't it so but jesse will be here in a little bit we're gonna do some q a today and uh yeah that's about it so you ready to go mow let's do it
Jesse just pointed out, I should probably get a new tire on here. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that tire is shot. So, probably after this yard, we might be going to the tire place to get a new tire. <laughs> All right, guys. First question by Direg Romo. I don't. I don't know what that what that means. Uh, Jesse, is Brian holding up his end of the bargain on the mower you guys bought? Yep, one hundred percent. Same guy. He's got a question for all three of us. He asked me what form of advertising worked the best before uh, word of mouth yielded the best results. Uh, word of mouth. I really haven't advertised hardly at all. I put an ad in the yellow pages a long time ago that yielded me one account and that's all the advertising I've ever done. Same guy, Albero. How the hell do you remain so damn calm all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm like that all the time. <laughs> You're just an easy, easy going guy? Yeah, easy going guy, yeah. All right, this one is for Albero. This is asked, same question has been asked two different times. This one uh, by Tyler King and also Nisvet. I'm not even going to try his last name, uh, but I think they call him Nick. Uh, they asked, are you planning on staying with Top Knots permanently or, or, is this, or is this just temporarily? Permanently, yeah. I'm going to stay for a long time over here. You going to stick around for a while? Yeah. Long time. Long time, yeah. Oh, whatever you got tired and fired, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I would never fire Albero. He's he's welcome as long as he wants a job. This one is by Andrew Strange. To all three of us, if you could pick three songs to listen to for the rest of your life, what would they be? That is a tough, tough question to answer. Uh... Man, I don't know. I don't know. I like a lot of stuff. Uh, throw me some Eminem. Uh, I'll listen to that any day of the week. Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with that. Albero. Celine Dion and Adele. Celine Dion and Adele. Yeah. Those are pretty good artists. Jesse, pick, mm. what would you listen to for the rest of your life? Any, any Alan Jackson song. Alan Jackson, there you go. All right, this question is by Jason Cornett. For all of us, what is the best walk behind mower for the money for an individual using on personal lawn? Gravely. Gravely, you say? On a, just a personal lawn, not commercial. Gravely is a pretty nice mower. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's almost an impossible question to answer, in my opinion. Uh, the only walk behind I've ever used is the Gravely and the Turf Tracer, the X Mark. Uh, the 34 Gravely I had is, I think, perfect for a, a homeowner. Uh, if you got, you know, a little bit bigger yard, I think the 34 is just, just great. I sold it to a friend of mine who doesn't have a business, and he mows it on his house, and he just loves it. All right, Andrew Veach. In what situations is the backpack blower most useful? Uh, for me because we do a lot of bigger properties. Uh, it's very, very useful for us on the front driveways because I don't have to walk every inch of the driveway to blow it off. I can stand on one side and just blow everything over. Uh, saves us a lot of time on the fronts. Doesn't really save us a whole lot of time on the backs because they're just small patios. So that's why we use the handheld on the back and the backpack blower on the fronts. Awesome. Also, yeah, Jesse just pointed out that they're also very beneficial when it rains because the grass is wet, it sticks to the concrete, and handheld blowers don't get it off as well. So backpack blowers are very useful for that also. All right, this one's by Diamond Dave. Do you always have to hold the speed lever, the level, or lever on the uh, walker mower? No, you don't have to. You don't have to hold it at all. You can set your speed and drive. I always keep my hand on it because you go over bumps and stuff. I just it's just automatic for me now I just kind of scale it back a little bit uh, one thing the walker does not do very well it doesn't take bumps very well if you're going full speed and you hit a bump it's gonna jar you this one is by Tom Richards 
do you have many problems with your walker? I'm always fixing something on the one I one I am running that is only about three years old. Uh, no, I really don't have many problems on my walker. Uh, shear pins, uh, broke a couple of those. You guys seen the gearbox. Uh, just minor stuff. Pretty much everything that I've had to fix on my walker is because we did something that we should not have been doing or whatever. Mechanically, my walker's been great, but it's also... I bought it brand new, so I would expect that. I need one for Albero here. Why does the gearboxes break? <laughs> what is it? What? The gearboxes break on the yeah. walker. Why? Why do the gearboxes break? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hit. I hit the concrete. <laughs> Julie Smith asked, "What will be your next lawnmower?" Uh, very good question. Uh, Probably my next new lawnmower will be a 60 inch something. Either a walk behind, a stander, or a ZTR. Uh, right now I'm leaning towards a 60 ZTR. Uh, it will probably be purchased at the beginning of next year. I'm hoping that's my plan. So, good question, Julie. Attention, everyone. Attention. I did that before. It's not attention, it's ass top notch. Good one. <laughs> Jay Parkin 88. What would be your theme song? Ah, oh, that's a good question. I like that question. I don't know how to answer it, but that's a good question. My theme song. Uh, my theme song would be probably Collapse by Eminem. What would be your theme song, Albero? If they were doing a movie about Albero, what would be the theme song? Uh, that's a good question. Uh someone like you something like that who's it who's it by adele adele yeah okay jesse what would be your theme song mm, country boy can survive bye uh, is that hank williams hank williams yep hank williams jr jr yep all right this one's by the long care rookie so it looks like you prefer three-man crews since two is becoming the new trend can you go over your pros and cons for either one or both uh very good question Oh, also, he says, and when you expand, will you go to two-man crews? Um, I do prefer two-man crews if I'm doing single houses. Uh, Three-man crews I like because we do a lot of bigger stuff, so it takes a little bit longer. Uh, I like having two mowers and one guy weed eating. Uh, but on, on individual houses and in the future, I am going to go to two-man crews. I think any more than two on a house is just kind of overkill and you're not making making as much as you could. Lorenzo Searchia. This is to everybody. Favorite sport? Uh, growing up, my favorite sport was baseball. I played baseball for a long time. I played a little bit of college baseball, but I really don't get into baseball much anymore. Uh, I really don't have time to watch sports anymore, but uh, if I had to choose a sport right now to play, it would be golf. Favorite sport, Albero? Soccer. Favorite sport, Jesse? Baseball. All right, this one is by Dominic Alberico. What is my favorite thing about landscaping? My favorite thing about landscaping would be to turning a normal, everyday lawn into something that people stop and look at. All right, guys, we're gonna end that there. Uh, I think I need to do this a little bit better. Uh, it's hard for me to it's really time consuming to me to go through all the videos in between in between these and find all the questions and stuff so uh, I think in the future we are going to make a post on either Instagram or Facebook or Twitter I'm not sure which one would work best maybe give, give me your opinion on that I'll make a post like at the beginning of the day or something give you guys a few hours and then you can just ask questions on that and uh, I think that'd probably be the easiest way so uh if you're not following me on facebook instagram or twitter uh please do i'll put my links somewhere here on the screen i'm not maybe here no i think i put facebook here twitter here does that look right i don't know they'll be somewhere on the screen but you can also find all that stuff in my comment in my uh in my description and and on my just my youtube page
edge didn't come out too bad. 